The White Lotus Season 2 Episode 5 trailer explained. Following on from an erupting and tension-filled Episode 4 of the show, we've now passed the halfway point. With it looking as though there's still so much of the story to go, this week's Ahead trailer gave us a glimpse into all of the boiled-up emotions that are going to be reaching their limit as we enter the back half of the season, ultimately resulting with the person being found in the sea. So with that, I thought I'd break down and explain all that there was to take away from this trailer. So let's get into it. Here is the White Lotus Season 2 Episode 5 trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The trailer opened up with Quentin uttering the line, A world without beauty, it's not a world that I want to live in. I'd also die for beauty, wouldn't you? Quentin seems like a man that's interested in taste and the finer things in life, as we saw when he first introduced himself to Tanya in the previous episode, judging her solely by the style of her clothing that she was wearing. The dying for beauty is something that I feel is trying to take us off track and make us think that Tanya could be the person who ended up in the sea at the start of the season, but I don't think that's the case. I feel in this moment they're talking about the villa that they're visiting. The villa that was made to have great importance due to its grand nature when spoken about in the previous episode. We saw the awe that Tanya was in when she was walking around. So I believe that this conversation is going to be based around that. Tanya now seems as though she's being more of her true self in front of Quentin and his friends. But judging by the sheer panic that we saw on her face at the end of the trailer, I think that something could take a terrible turn. There's a lot of questioning around Greg scamming her, which could be the case, and this trip could be a distraction for her whilst he carries out the scam. Whilst we heard this line being uttered, we saw Dominic, who was overlooking the sea, in the cove where Albie and Portia were in the last episode, most likely self-reflecting on his decisions on ruining his marriage, but also riddled with the thoughts of his son being with the same woman that he was with, and how he believes Lucia could be taking him for a ride despite the fact that there seems to be a somewhat genuine connection there. We also had a shot of Cameron, Ethan, Harper, and Daphne sitting around the table smiling. A complete facade and a show in both parts. This was over the part of the line that said, it's not a world that I want to live in, which makes me think that it's going to be one of these four that end up in the sea. The seagull also made an appearance in this trailer too, which based on its incorporation in the previous episode, we saw that it symbolizes greed, gluttony, and gossip, something which we've seen is present throughout most of the characters in the show. We also got glimpses of the ocean, which is forever present and a dark reminder of what's to come, along with the police force out in the sea, which does make me wonder if somebody could potentially go missing and then the body wash up later. After this, the trailer really kicked into gear, with the pacing of it increasing. Harper saw Ethan talking to Mia and Lucia, and we saw her say to Daphne, I think something happened when we were in Noto. This was met with a response from Daphne, stating, If anything ever did happen, do what you need to do to make yourself feel better about it. This is most certainly alluding to the fact that Daphne definitely cheats on Cameron and he doesn't know about it, as I imagine that's what she does herself to make herself feel better. After this, we then saw some shots of Cameron and Harper looking like they were getting far more comfortable than usual with each other. I feel Harper is most definitely doing this in order to make Ethan jealous and to also get back at him for thinking that he cheated on her due to her believing what she found down the back of the sofa was his. The next shot that we had in the trailer was of Dominic saying, I'm trying to smooth things over with Albie and with everyone. I don't think he's speaking to his wife in this instance, as she's somebody who he's trying to smooth things over with. I think he could be talking to his father in the hotel or his daughter on the phone, somebody who we've heard of but not seen or heard speak directly. The softer tone that he adopted when uttering this line sounded like how a father could speak to his daughter. After this, we had Albie introducing Lucia, who is most certainly befriended after their night together, to Dominic and Bert. In this instance, it looked as though Lucia was going to act as though she didn't know Dominic to avoid a weird atmosphere of making Albie feel uncomfortable, but it seemed as though it had the opposite effect. In turn, it made Dominic feel uncomfortable, which was supported by Bert saying, can't you just be cool? This is something that's most likely going to drive an even stronger wedge between himself and his father. It seemed as though Ethan, Harper, Cameron and Daphne were going to go on a day trip somewhere as it looked like they were in a slightly different environment. Ethan said a line to Cameron, I know what you're doing man, there's someone with higher status and you want something. You want it too. This is most likely alluding to the fact that Ethan, who had just sold his company, and is more respected in the field and likely holds a higher position than what Cameron does, is on Cameron's mind. So he's after something that he's got, and that's being intimate with his wife Harper. 
However, I do wonder if that's something that Ethan is just manifesting in his head due to the guilt that he feels from kissing Mia. It looks as though we're going to see the shoe well and truly on the other foot as Ethan now looks set to become paranoid about Harper being with Cameron, going to the hotel room, banging on the door and looking like his thoughts are eating away at his mind. The next line that was spoken was, when you're empty inside and you have no direction, you'll end up in some crazy places. Over the top of this, we had Cameron and Daphne giving off false happiness, which we know is true. Dominic, who is empty inside as he's filling his emptiness with nights with women. Ethan walking behind Daphne, who's filled with emptiness in her life due to the way that Cameron treats her. Then followed by Portia and Jack, who it seemed as though were going to find themselves in a bit of trouble. It looked as though due to the actions of what happened between Mia and Giuseppe, she's also now going to become the resident performer at the White Lotus, which is a dream of hers, to be able to sing for a living. This could enrage Giuseppe and view it as a plan that was carried out from the off, leading there to be motive on his part if something were to happen to Mia. After this, we then had Portia on the phone saying, I feel like something bad is happening. This could be one of two things. She's either going to be on the phone to Tanya because something has happened between herself and Jack, or she's going to have phoned Alby and he's going to come to her rescue, as could be the case in the next shot where himself and his father were getting out of the car in a panic. It also looked as though Ethan and Harper did have a passionate night together in their hotel room, but I wonder if it's too late, if Harper had already been with Cameron. The main shot in this trailer that was the most damning was of Ethan holding Cameron underwater, showing that their friendship is something that's going to take a turn for the worst and won't last much longer. I think these next few episodes, and episode 5 of the show specifically, is going to be focused around the turning of the relationship between the two couples that came on this trip. There was intrigue into Cameron and Daphne's relationship and also the question of why they took Ethan and Harper on holiday, but now their intentions are clear, the two former friends are going to drift further apart and could potentially take the most precious thing away from each other, their life. I'm excited for the final few episodes and can't wait to see what's going to happen next. So, there you have it, the White Lotus Season 2 Episode 5 trailer explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.